<clears throat> we should stop behind the suitcase. Oh. I'm more like, up yeah, we'll do a little come up creepy. <laughs> I am 100% sure that he's already used us, and now he's showing us going down. Hi! Oh. <laughs> we are back from Japan, which you've probably known for a while. I have no idea when this video is going out, but as of right this second, we got back from Japan like 24 hours ago, and we are very jet lagged. It doesn't help that I am jacked up on pumpkin spice coffee because. I missed it while I was gone, and you're probably just high on life. Yeah. This suitcase, by the way, is filled with all the stuff I got in Japan. Everything, and all of it is mostly gaming related, and a lot of Switch stuff. <laughs> Here's everything I got. Right before I start going through it, I do want to show you guys that these games, if I didn't already have bought them before Japan, they would have been perfect to find. Because these are some of the best games to look out for while you're over there. They're all multi-language. You have Okami, you have World of Final Fantasy, you have uh, Belt Action. For those that don't know, Final Fantasy X and X2, getting the Japan import is better than the US version, the Western version, because the US Western version has a digital download for the second game, but both games are on this cart. The very first vlog that I did, uh, we got this bad boy, and I obviously haven't even had time as of right now to open it. I'm assuming my Dragon Quest review is already up. I'm hoping it is. I'm working on it. Well, why'd you get this one here? Oh, we're past that. Oh, are we? It's sitting here. <laughs> well, I meant grab things out of here. I got him because he's cool, and I'm 90% sure I yeah, didn't it have it. We should do a candy taste yeah. test. Yeah. We got sure banana Kit Kats. Yeah. We just grabbed these at a yeah. store called Camp Big Camera, which is kind of Big reminding me of, has a lot of is it Best Buy. Yeah. That happened to have With snacks. More snack. This, again, I also got in the first vlog. Yeah. And of course, none of this stuff has been opened yet. No. But I will be opening this and playing it. And I think I talked about it enough in the video, so go back and watch it. But it's a gold plated Famicom Mini. Oh my gosh, oh, we're going to see it right now for the first time. This is so much smaller. Wow, that's tiny. This is actually mini. Yeah. I swear they that. They took it very literally. The NES they... Mini was. Oh, it is. It's, it's chunky compared to this. Oh, look, Money. All right, so these two things you grabbed, I think, is everything we got from the no, Poke Cafe. There's one more because I have. We got a couple of these. This one was the one I picked. Yeah, those were like... the coasters in the Pokemon Cafe yeah. that we got for free for dining there. And then I bought this on the way out. I kind of grabbed this more for you than me because. I think it's really cute though. You, you of do? All the, yeah. Oh. Of all the. <laughs> I love it. I think it is really cute, yeah. but I definitely got it as like a last second purchase because I thought yeah. you would like it. So you I think can... he'll look nice on the shelf with all of our other Pikachu figures. But... This I got for me. Yeah, again, I talked about this in the video, but I got an Eevee at the Pokemon Center in Sunshine City. If you want to know why I got that one in particular, <laughs> watch the video. We haven't edited any of the other parts other than the first I part of the well. vlogs, but I do think this was on camera of the second mm. Pokemon City we went to. Pokemon Center? Yeah. yeah. What did I say? City. Oh. Oh, I won this yeah. in a claw machine. This definitely was not on video. I've been really excited to open this. It's a mystery box thing. I don't know what you call them. Yeah. A mystery Blind box? box? Blind box. I'm really hoping to get the uh, the Vulpix, the ice yeah, Vulpix. The Vulpix would be cool. The, the Pikachu only... will be fine because he's yeah. he's adorably the only sad. Kind of lame is the Metapod. I don't want the Metapod. Nobody and wants. I've been waiting to open this on camera. And if you want to see a whole video of somebody <laughs> opening blind boxes someone, from Japan, someone. this gal right here, do you have them or are you I, waiting? I, I do have them. Kim like bought a... way too many of these, I did. and yeah. she's doing a whole video oh, on her thing. channel. Yeah. So go and watch that after yeah. this. Yeah. Well, I, I'm, yeah, it's probably up by now. Oh. You don't like it? No, I don't like oh, him at all. So sad. I've never liked that. Why? Well, that was about a week worth of waiting for nothing. I love how we put up our first video and everyone was already like, You should have gotten the book off. I watched your first part of your first two days out of 15 in Japan. You should have gotten the book off. You really screwed up not going to book off. Well, how about you book off? <laughs> These were from Book Off. For the whole trip, I was really focused on Switch stuff because I, it was like trying to read the Matrix. There were so many games I hadn't seen. Trying to figure out what was a visual novel and what wasn't a visual novel was a whole thing in itself. And then trying to figure out what was something I actually could play in a language I wanted to play. It took a lot of learning. And by the time I finally wrapped my head around it, the trip was almost over. But by the end, I was looking at other systems and the Wii U was a system that I, there's a lot of games I wanted. I was trying to find... 
Hey, Simon, want to join in? Kim's making noise. Yakuza 1 and 2 for Wii U. I don't think it got a release in uh, the West. If it did, I'm an idiot. But either way, I thought it was a fitting purchase since we were in Japan. And then Daedalus. I still don't know what this is other than a really cool looking RPG. And I'm really excited to start it. And I might start it soon. I don't buy Pokemon cards. In fact, I won't even be able to read these because they'll be in Japan. But I thought it would be fun to, to be Max Mofo for a second and unbox, open some Pokemon cards and see what I get. All right, mates, we're gonna open this up. How's he sound? He's a little Australian, right? Yeah, he is. Australian sounds, sounds stupid. Oh yeah, this is great. That's what he does, right? Oh yeah, got nose pass. Got a, got a guy with tentacles coming out of his head. It's kind of how he sounds, right? Kind of, yeah. I got a fat ball of a seal. Got a bear doing Kung Fu. And I got a little praying mantis fella. It's great, sucks. <laughs> You got Meowth? Meowth? More like... <laughs> I got a little ghost of a guy that died, like my enthusiasm in this video. <laughs> I got this... I don't know. <laughs> I don't know what that is. We got... Ruby Chocolate. I actually wanted to try this. We got a couple different Kit Kat flavors, because in other countries, Kit Kat actually gets creative. Not so much here. This is Ruby, which I think means there's like legit rose petals on top. Like you don't taste that like sharp berry on top? No. Lethal League. This was a complaint I had in Japan. For some reason, they don't really tell you when you're gonna get a collector's edition of things. The prices are just higher. But the prices on collector's things are so sporadic that you kind of just have to assume if it's over 60 bucks, it's either brand spanking new or it's a collector's edition. But I went up there and they were like, oh, here it is. And I was like, oh, okay. Oh no. So these were all the gachas that I got. And I told you guys in my video that we got addicted to these things. I wasn't lying. And this is after I went and traded in a bunch of them too to get the one that I wanted. I'm not even sure where my Sylveon is. It's probably around here somewhere. The colors correspond to the Eevee that's inside, which was really helpful. I don't think I, well, okay. So I got this one at a uh, Tower Records, which again, we didn't film. It's just a little, a little frog on a, <laughs> I still love it. Other than that, I really only dived into the Eevee ones. I know Kim. I bought a few. Bought a few. He's, oh. Apparently Simon wants me to do this one next. <laughs> you cook boy. Oh, yeah, that's right. So I got this bad boy, 6,800 yen, which equates to about $65. Ended up being a fantastic deal. I, I This is the first time I had seen even a Bring Arts thing in general. I'd never heard of it before, let alone this Dragon Quest one, but I thought it looked too perfect. And I really wish I had bought the chick that was next to him. Can't remember her name. The one that comes but it turns out that she is around the same price as this guy. Yeah. Whereas every other one of, in this set is like a hundred bucks or more. So at least it wasn't one of those. Oh, a little slime. Kim got me that. Wait, what does one it do? <gasps> I thought it reacted to my voice for a second. No, you just have to thump him. Wait, let's see. <gasps> no. Yep, that's all you do. I got this at, oh, the same place I got that figure. I got a really good deal on it. You guys watch the video. I'm not gonna talk about it. Oh, you bought whatever this is. I don't know what that is. Um, it's candy. Oh, okay. You wanna try it? Sure. Oh. This isn't candy. I'm 90% sure this is actually fish food. That's you bought actually... Pikachu seasoning. <laughs> you bought seasoning. I don't know what- Seasoning? Yeah, it's like for noodles. I was excited for candy. <laughs> What is this? Oh, we also got this at the Pokemon Cafe. Oh, whoops. Which I don't think I would have shown in the video. I'm not sure if I did. This is why you're watching this one. There's a lot of this stuff, obviously, I did get in videos, but a lot of the stuff I didn't film. I bought an Eevee mug. I, I drink a lot of coffee. A lot of coffee. I don't know why I had to prove it. And I just really wanted a mug from that cafe, and they had an Eevee one, and Eevee's my favorite Pokemon, and you get a tail as a little handheld. I don't like how, like, thin it is. I feel like I could probably flick it off and break it, but I got an Eevee mug. Oh! So I got this from Super Potato. Here, you hold it. Make it look like a, like you're presenting it. I got this a Super Potato. <laughs> uh, it was twice as much as everywhere else, but as I said in the video, Everything in Super Potato was pristine, a perfect condition, and it was worth buying it there. Oh, Kim got me this at the arcade. <laughs> if you watched the first vlog we did. No, that one's from the, uh, the aquarium. That's what I meant to say. The, all I bought was games, by the way. I didn't buy any clothes. I bought one overshirt because I got cold. That was it. And I bought games and some candy. 
Pokemon Center, you saw that in the video. I sound like a broken record. Uh, in the video. I still haven't figured this out. I'm gonna try playing it, even though I won't be able to read any of it. It's a visual novel game, but it looks really cool. I got this in Super Potato. You saw that. I got this in the first video too. You saw that. If you didn't see that video, I highly recommend watching it, because I'm rushing through some of these for time. This, um, is an amiibo. We didn't find the other three. We'll glue it back together. It's not like I'm gonna use it. No. Use an amiibo? <laughs> what am I, an idiot? I stole some coffee. No, actually, I bought that. Work, work! I got a really good price on this. I paid like $14. It looks adorable. Oh, my dinosaur! You won that for me in an arcade. Yeah. Oh, look at him. He's all And then I won this in an arcade. Yeah. I want a, a six-star Dragon Ball. We're not showing Kim stuff, we've decided. Sucks to be you. You have to go see it on her channel. And <laughs> to be fair, I made the choice, not her. So be mad at me. Somewhere in this suitcase, I don't want to disturb Saimi. I'll show it in B-roll. I kind of accidentally stole one of the coins from that really cool arcade, Nintendo oh, arcade. Right, yeah. and, and legitimately, so many coins were flying out that machine that one bounced off the cup and like right into my bag. I'm not even kidding. I literally... I saw it bounce into my bag. The Super Smash Brothers Switch, they had a bunch of Switches for sale. They had all the new ones in stock. They had the Switch lights, they had everything. And they were all the price they should be. Even the second hand ones. This was cheaper than any new Switch and any second hand Switch and it came in box. Like there's no, like, no difference. I don't understand why it was so cheap. It ended up being 250. If you want to try and buy one of these online, even importing it, it's over 500. The Switch looks normal on the Smash Brothers one. There's no real difference. That's not the winner here. I, I like the Smash Brothers Switch. I don't love it. I always thought it just kind of looked like the normal Switch, but it definitely has extra flair to it, obviously. And then I got this to round out the entire trip. It's the one thing I wanted while I was in Japan, the Dragon Quest Switch. This one, unlike the Smash Brothers one, did not get released here in the West. Japan exclusive, it's way cooler than the Smash one. The controllers are a really nice shade of blue that you just can't get otherwise with these awesome little symbols of the slime and the melty slime. That melty slime probably has an actual name. The only downside was it was missing the game. So they gave us a really good price. It was like $70-ish, American-ish, off the system brand new. Um, and then from the same store, I just went ahead and grabbed the game that was missing. I already have the game, but it's a special edition, and I felt like I needed the Japanese one. If I tried putting in an English one, it wouldn't feel right. I do honestly believe this is the best special edition of Switch, and that's not even me being like, oh, because I have one. <gasps> I didn't know it had stuff on the back. <gasps> It's the best. I don't know why. I know, obviously, Dragon Quest is way bigger in Japan. I don't know why they didn't port this. Port this? I don't know why they didn't release this in the West. Because it would have sold, man. It's it's beautiful. It is a beautiful Switch. And it goes hand in hand with the release of the game. I like it. I like <laughs> no, it. you look nice. I like it. Ah. <laughs> Ace, uh, I almost said Ace Ventura Pet Detective for a second there. That would have been a fun game. Nature Calls? Yeah, it would have been a fun game. But uh, Phoenix Wright. It was the one other multi I don't think it's multi-language. Well... Yes, it is. The one other multi-language game I was looking for, it's not getting a, an English physical release in the West as far as I know. At least they've said that that's not happening. And that's everything I bought in Japan. Other than food that I've already eaten and I can't show you without regurgitating them, but honestly, I probably pooped them out in the country by now. I can't, I'd have to fly back, find the toilet I used, trace the sewer system down to the sewer lines and try and find my excrement to show you just to try and, you know, what, like, how's that even gonna show you what I ate? It's just gonna show you what my poop looked like after I ate, so that's really weird for you to even ask. So if you wanna see other stuff I did, including games, including random stuff we did in the country, you can watch the vlogs, because we filmed pretty much everything other than Disney, because yeah. that was my birthday, and we just kinda took the day to be nice and lovely and hang out without having a, hey Kim! Do something funny. Hey, Kim, now film me doing something funny. Ha ha ha. If you guys want to see Kim, more of Kim's beautiful face. Apparently, we're awake at midnight tonight, so we're going to film. Did you say tonight? Yep. So we're going <laughs> to film some stuff for her channel, uh, her unboxing stuff, some of the stuff she bought, some yeah. stationery she bought in Japan, just her generally being cute. Simon finally moved his fat butt off that coin I was oh, talking very about. Hairy. So that really uh, wraps up the entire video. If you like this video and you want to see more stuff in Japan, I'm done with that. So you'll have to wait until I go back. Like this video, uh, subscribe. Yeah. 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 Bye.
god!